Well, welcome back to Talosa BB. This is my good friend, Gary. Uh, for those who don't know, he's kind of a local supporter. Your name's in the oh, credits yes, for yes. a long, long time. Delighted to be there. Watch your stuff <laughs> so all the time. So thank you. I'm talking with you today because you've kind of completed what I think is the ideal Tesla ecosystem, a new installation. Tell us what you got. Right. I had an older system that was a, a 4.3 megawatt but uh, 10 years ago and, I, and it was Solar City at the time. And oh, yeah. um, so we were leasing it because we were financially strapped. We didn't think sure. we could. So that's how that all began. You know, really our true ups were huge. We had mm. some months where we were paying like 600 just on a true up with PG&E here in California. Wow. Okay. And so I realized I needed more solar. Especially I, now that you're going electric. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Use it a lot more. So because of Drew here, of course, I wound up buying a, <laughs> he, he gave me an, a ride in his Model 3 and, and I, of course I was sold immediately. That's anyway, so we, we bought this, <laughs> this Model Y uh, last year. I think we've had a year and a half now, which is just amazing. I just love the fact that I'm I don't have to use the brake when you think about it You don't I don't have to ever use brakes. Mm -hmm. I'm not gonna mess with brake pads or I'm never really mm -hmm. gonna have a brake job no. no, no tranny to mess with oil. Mm -hmm. No differential. No grease. No oil. None of that nonsense because I'm not a guy that likes to tinker with cars at all. <laughs> I'm the so, same way. So, you yeah. know a little fluid in the windshield wiper. Right. That's, that's about it. That and, and <laughs> the air pressure. Up. Right. The tires. That's tires. That's and this is a special Model Y. They didn't make this one for super long. It's the you got the four 4680 model. Yeah, yeah, right? yeah. It has the, I think it's called Hardware 4. Oh, the, right. Yeah. You're on so the early that, yeah. early adoption. Have you messed around with the FSD much? Or? Well, you know, they gave it to everybody for free. Right. Yeah. But since I'm retired, my place of work was like five minutes from here. <laughs> to me, I, I, I'm not going to buy it because sure. I don't really travel much. It wasn't now that worth I'm retired. It. Yeah. Fair enough. Matter of fact, in a whole year, I'm, I'm lucky to put 6,000 miles on my car. Yeah. <laughs> That's pretty good. Yeah. I'm here, curious, have you done much supercharging? at all with it or is it pretty well much all home since charging? since i have all these referral credits thanks to you i wound up doing a lot of supercharging in chico matter of fact in oh, the last yeah. couple two three months a hundred percent well maybe 99 percent was all supercharging wow yeah. okay well that makes it easy yeah <laughs> i know some people have expressed concerns about how fast the 4680 batteries charge but in your experience does it well, feel like with this battery chemistry i'm only going up to 80 percent right every supercharge and, and the sweet spot i think is between 30 and 80 percent yeah i wind up a lot of sometimes i'll be at a supercharge charger for 20 minutes but my wife is sitting bad. there we're on youtube we're researching stuff yeah. we're just watching stuff for fun right and it's so, like what are we gonna do at yeah. home we have traveled a few times but we always get some fast food first start charging and we eat our lunch if we're going somewhere far and it I've, didn't feel uncomfortably no, long okay. good and, and I, i've taken it to san diego a couple times oh I that's pretty monterey, far down to monterey and about and that's about it so i've only and you're pretty happy with how oh, the yeah. road trip experience oh, yeah. went piece of cake good one time i uh I bypassed uh, coming back Bakersfield. I thought I'll just push it and go a little further. Yeah, I was uh, I was pretty low by the yeah. time I got to where I needed. <laughs> What's the to. lowest you've gotten? I think it was about uh, thirteen percent. Oh, 13, that's not terrible. I've gotten Your to car, two. You can get to zero though, almost. You know? <laughs> I've gotten to 2%, that's yeah. my lowest, but yeah, my wife's very uncomfortable whenever I yeah. do that. I'm always like, ah, 1% is plenty. Yeah. I, I'm always <laughs> thinking they, they want you to not go too much below, I don't know if it's 20 or 30%. Yeah, you know, but so I'm, Just for, for uh, battery health and all that stuff, sure. I'm trying to stay in that sweet area. Well, that's the good news is I've yeah. heard the 4680s have really good cycle yeah. life. And don't they have a new 4680 now, right? Correct. That's They've more switched the, uh, yeah. the cyber cell they yeah. called it yeah. that must be your next purchase but no. before we get <laughs> before we get into that so you've got a tesla made cell tesla made vehicle software mm -hmm. the hardware for and everything but now you've got new system a new solar system to yeah. go along with it so just, just yesterday tesla came out and installed 22 panels wow. and two power wall threes and i and i haven't really learned the whole thing yet obviously sure. but but I'm kind of jazzed about that. That is cool. You've yeah. got LFP, high cycle life mm -hmm. energy storage now. That means right. they can top them off to 100% yeah. easily. And they just finished yesterday. And moments ago, I looked at my phone. There was a tech thing that the final inspection is on is on Monday. Oh, right. gotcha. So they'll be here Monday. And once that happens, then I, I think there's a, a process that has to do with pg &E. It has to do with selling you know excess back to them. Right. The but, virtual yeah. power plant yeah. program or whatever. But, I, but the thing is, I think you know we're in california and since yeah. i'm coming in after april mm. it means that i have a rather small percentage of it used to be you mm -hmm. could you could get a hundred percent uh whatever they sell it to the public you could redeem that much but now it's a very right. small percentage 
It's like probably like two or three percent, something like that. But I was gonna say that's why you did the smart thing and got Get power them. walls. Yeah, yeah. Because it's yeah. like don't sell that power back to the save grid. It, keep it. it for yourself. Right. And of course, you've got a wall connector. Yeah. And you've got a Tesla, which means any excess energy that you aren't either using for the house or for the power walls, you can put straight back into here, this battery. Into this car, yeah. That's an amazing yeah. system. So when did you order it? How long was this process? Um, I think we started the whole thing back in in March, wow. and it could have happened a little sooner, except since I retired, we took a month long trip in an RV across the country. Nice. And so we we smoked them. You know, that was a month. Yeah, uh, yeah. Otherwise, it could have happened sooner. But I've I've been very pleased with the whole thing. Really. Good. You said it was just two half days yes. to get the whole system. You know, the the thing about this Powerwall, if you look at the videos, etc., about Powerwall three installers had a lot of input in the design of it. That's great. So the inverter is actually in each of the batteries, oh, and it used gotcha. to take it, it used to take four or five hours to install one battery. Wow. With all the hookups and such. Yeah. What they're saying now is is a couple of guys can install it in twenty minutes. The battery itself. <laughs> That's you know, power incredible. wall on the wall. Yeah. Wow. Now there's all, all the panels and all that stuff is it takes more time. But yeah. Sure. Because the temperature here in, in our area is was like hundred and ten recently, Oof. these guys decided to knock off work at noontime. I don't blame and, them. Yeah. yeah. First, <laughs> first day they got here at eight thirty, they were done at noon. Uh -huh. They had most of the panels up. They had the batteries installed on the walls. Wow. And then uh, yesterday it was the second day they came back and they got here again around 8 30 because they drive from Sacramento the batteries were uh, being programmed like around one o'clock in the afternoon Wow so, that's and, incredible and they, were they were actually off the premises by about 1 30 yeah. that's one of the coolest things I think Tesla does is when they actively talk to either the guys on the assembly line or yeah. the factory floor or the in yeah. installers and just yeah, say how do we make this better my experience of course with my car mm -hmm. I just I just love it Good. and it just seems like it's well engineered and I know initially you were telling me about uh, body panels maybe not lining up sure I was gonna ask history. did you have any service visits or? everything wow. is perfect you've never been in service never yet. Yeah. Wow, and it's over a year now. A year and a half. That's yeah. impressive. Yeah. That's really the only cool. thing I do, you know, I just bought one of these electric uh, air pressure, you mm. know, to fill up, and I just keep up on the tires. Just, yeah. And it's so easy. Right, right. And, uh, you know, I was telling you that the rotation of the tires, I did mm -hmm. that a while back, and that's, that's Are really, you doing those yourself, you said? Yeah, yeah. That's the way to do it. You know, <laughs> obviously, there's videos that show you all this stuff. Yeah. But what I did is I just bought two hydraulic jacks, as you, you know, you have the four pads. Mm -hmm. They call them pucks. Yeah, they yeah. Go on the four. You just put those in, the you jack points, up one right. side of the of the car uh -huh. with both of the hydraulic jacks. Yeah, and you take those wheels off, rotate them all around. And, you know, it's just, and each of these hydraulic jacks I got at Home Depot were like forty five bucks. I was actually going to ask you yeah. if you knew of a good uh, tire place that would do it correctly and not damage your. You know, oh, I was sure. going to ask you that, yeah. but I thought <laughs> you know this looks pretty easy. I'm sure I can just do it. Yeah, because even if 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 we had a in the past one of our, our other cars like my wife has an Avalon you might sit there for an hour and a half because they're doing it for free at Les Schwab right yeah you know you're just in line yeah but I mean why would I want to do that when I can <laughs> yeah, just you know, do spend it, it 90 bucks and have two, right. two jacks that's and, a good call yeah. I think that's a good investment because yeah, now I'll just do it when I want to do it right and, yeah well you've, you're saying positive things about the experience and now you got the power walls and stuff and I'm also just want to credit you for taking the Model Y to the max you got the bike rack and the oh, yeah. tow hitch and the roof rack. Oh, that's amazing. You're just yeah. <laughs> doing everything. Yeah. Do you need a Cybertruck or? No. No, I, I am enamored <laughs> with it. I think it's beautiful and all that, yeah. but it reminds me of work. <laughs> I'm retired. The last thing I want to do is haul crap. No thanks. <laughs> that's a good call. I, I, I was telling Drew a while back, you yeah. know, when I, when he showed me this you know, the, the Tesla thing, and I yeah. started following him online. <laughs> you know, I was driving a Dodge Ram 1500, mm. big old Hemi, you know? Yeah. A lot of power and all that stuff. It was a little out of gas. Oh, but, yeah. Um, now when I drive down the road, I think of all these ice cars around me, and I think of the thousands of explosions going oh, on every yeah. second, you know, with the pistons and all that. Right. And I think of, well, you got fuel injectors, you got mufflers, there's a catalytic converter, you mm -hmm. got to replace the serpentine belt. And mm -hmm. I think of all the, cr all the stuff that people <laughs> have to go through right having one of those cars and and I just I'm trying to simplify life make yeah. life easy right even my yard and everything 
everything is on automatic spring. Everything is automatic That's because smart. I don't want to work. <laughs> <laughs> I helped people move pool tables, you know, a lot of the yeah, guys. Yeah, right. Because we put together this league. Yeah. And I think I moved about 16 pool tables. Wow. You know, but now I don't have a truck, so I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> we just and you're have okay to with that. Yeah, we just, hey, somebody else can borrow a truck and I'll, I'll help you set up the table. You were done being the truck yes, guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Had to worry about everybody And the else. truth is, I always was, mostly I was by myself in the truck anyway. Yeah. And yeah. it just seemed like kind of a waste. Sure. And when you think of all the heat loss oh, under the insane. hood, you know, so and, much. Uh, and how efficient, you know, uh, think about just an electric motor. I realize it's a complex motor and all that. And yeah, and pe people talk about the the recharge time, but they don't factor in charging from home saves you the whole trip. Oh yeah, yeah. It's not just five minutes at the pump. It's right. it's going to the gas station right. out of your you know, way. It's my wife, she still ha she has a Toyota Avalon. I yeah. haven't, haven't been able to sell that from, out from under her. <laughs> but I kind of wanted to convert her over to, to Tesla, you know. But anyway. What do you want to get her? A three or a one? Well, you want two Ys? Or? See, uh, I think another Y would be nice. Yeah. For, actually, because we like the, there's a ton of space back here. I it mean, could be twinsies. Yeah, that's right. There's supposed to be a pretty big uh, refresh next year. Yeah, there they'll is. That's update right. a bunch That's of right. stuff. Because she's not actually driven this one yet. Oh, she which is kind of crazy. <laughs> you know? and, this and, is so uh, unfortunately this so is so easy. This is such an easy drive compared. Matter of fact, I drove her car after about a month and a half of driving mine. I almost got killed <laughs> because of the brakes. What the heck? I right. got to use brakes. That's the most dangerous thing about a Tesla is when you get back into another car, you're like, oh, I got to stop. I got to slow right. down. I took her car to go fill it up because I'm just Helping trying, out. trying yeah. to help out. And I, you got the smell of gas and I'm done. That is some nasty stuff. <laughs> I'm done. I'm done with that. Absolutely. Yeah. I think you got the right setup in mind, driving on solar. Mm -hmm. It's going to be even cleaner. They, people won't even use the argument that, oh, well, the grid's dirty. It's like, well, not mine. Yeah, yeah. I'm just right. driving on sunshine. That's right. That's right. <laughs> How many kilowatts is it, do you know? Together right now, I think with, with the old system and this one, we're about 13.2, 13.5. Wow. It's pretty like good. Yeah. Yeah. I think you'll barely be pulling yeah. anything and, from And, the you grid. know, again, as I get older, you know, I realized that the hot tub that I had, oh, yeah. only the grandkids really used it much, <laughs> you know? <laughs> sure. And uh, so I gave it to my son. Uh-huh. And uh, thank they love you. it. Thank you there. Yeah. <laughs> and then I also, that you know, I, I had a big deep and extra freezer out in the garage sure, sure. to load up on all kinds of food and stuff. But now that it's just the two of us, I mean, I really didn't need that. So goodbye to that. Wow. I gave that to there somebody else, some, some young family that needed it. But anyway, cool. so now when I submitted my PG&E bills uh, mm -hmm. to, to Tesla, yeah. those things were on it. So oh, I'm okay. kind of assuming I'm going to have way more energy than I'm, I'm actually needing. I think so. so. That's the way to do it. Grid be gone, you'll be fine. <laughs> oh, thank you, man. I tell everybody about it. Yeah. You know, and awesome. I, I play in the bar leagues, playing pool. Yeah, with yeah. All these guys, and a lot of these people, they, they just don't understand Tesla at all. And uh -huh. I think it's people don't want to be forced into buying one. Right. Like in 2035. I but agree. if they just weighed what makes more sense, yeah. If they understood the torque that you have in one of these, the right. power. I had a guy uh, the other day that was telling me he bought a new, like a little, an Audi, a oh. little sports car. Uh -huh. And uh, he said, well, my mine will go zero to 60 under six. And I said, well, I have the Slowpoke Tesla <laughs> and it, it does it in 4.9, 4.8. Right. So, you know. <laughs> yeah. Well, I think your stories and your experiences like you shared does way more for, you know, moving the needle towards electric than a mandate or trying to force people into it yeah. because they just see you're happy and you're not having to fuss around with a no, bunch of stuff. Piece it's, it's just easy. Yeah. And I think people will just see that and you're probably not too pushy about it. And they just go, wow, he, he seems to be enjoying himself. Yeah. <laughs> I, I parked at a grocery store uh, and I went in to, to buy some food uh -huh. and I cut Come out and there's this greasy looking car with the hood up sitting next to mine. Oh yeah. And, I, and you know, of course, you walk across the pavement, yeah. the parking lot, you see grease all over the place. Sure. And I look at my beautiful uh, Tesla there, and I see someone has poured a big old uh, bunch of soup or something all over my car. It's really? White, and there's this tomato soup. Oh gosh. Vegetables and stuff. Oh, that's so. Nice. You have people that have that kind of hate you because you have <laughs> you have Tesla haters apparently. Right, right. And they that could be somebody who's like a like some some redneck who doesn't want to be forced into buying a Tesla, or it could be someone who says. 
I hate Elon Musk and right. Tesla because he bought Twitter and now he calls it X. So, yeah. You know, there's a spectrum of, of belief systems now. And, and you don't even know why they yeah, were mad. I have no idea. Wow. You know? I'm sorry. That's a bummer. Yeah. That's but I shame. mean, this is now I live, we live in kind of a conservative county. Sure. I'm seeing a lot of more Teslas around, lots more. There are other people that I've seen on the internet, they get their cards keyed. Oh, yeah. You know? I'm glad I've never had that. Yes, yeah, I've never had that either. But, I mean, I thought we were in a pretty safe area. I don't know. With the way Elon's going now, maybe the conservative yeah, will I like it more. I, I, don't. I, I don't know. And I'm I'm of the <laughs> persuasion that even what he said about the e credits and all that stuff, yeah. I still think we're going to be fine long term. Oh, yeah. And of course, I agree. the, the I power agree. production on the big the energy packs and right. all that stuff. I but agree. it's going to take time for people to become aware of it. I do wish he'd advertise some. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think they're getting into it. I don't know how effective it is because people are so hesitant yeah. to change, but so, appreciate your support. Thanks so much. Th uh, thanks for having it, us it, over and letting us look at everything. It's been a delight to get a part to be a part of the Tesla family. Yeah, <laughs> and thanks to everybody supporting, like yeah. Gary. <laughs> anyway. And we'll see you all in the next one. Bye-bye. All right, take care. Thanks so much.